There's Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the week of February 20th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Also, this week, uh, I will, by the end of the week, have monthlies back up. A lot of people have asked if I'm still doing monthlies. I am. I, the past two months, I was very sick, so I just couldn't keep talking and talking and talking and do the monthlies, so I had to skip them. Uh, but I am going to start doing them again this week, so look forward to March, and then moving forward, I'm going to keep doing them. So don't worry about that. But let's see what comes up for you this week of the 20th. Uh, yeah, it looks rather nice. So you start off with the Ace of Diamonds card of stepping off on a new path. To me, this is the card of the innovator, the card of doing something new and innovative. Step. It's a specifically a card of um, like stepping off on a new path, starting a new journey, doing something you've never done before, and and possibly something that nobody has ever done before. Like I said, it's a card of the innovator, doing something completely different. So a lot of you could be stepping off onto new journeys, starting new journeys, starting new paths. Also a great card for marriage as well so if you're uh getting married at this time this can be a very good card next you have the seven of spades with the ace of diamonds there's always a little bit of fear your first card there the seven of spades is a card of fears and it says your fears do not exist so do not let your fears stop you any fears you have uh, you actually have two sevens here i think this keeps happening to you um scorpio i think you keep getting these sevens but uh, definitely let those fears go next you have the two of clubs two of clubs is a card of keeping yourself motivated definitely definitely important for scorpio at this time to stay very motivated i think there's a there is um there is a lot in the astrology that i think uh at least to me could definitely bring water signs down if if, if we're not careful um until we get past this eclipse on sunday so make sure this week to stay super motivated i think as long as you stay positive then then you will be positive if, if you start get, getting into negative uh, belief patterns and things, and I think things will go to the negative. So it's really important right now that you stay as positive as possible, uh, and then good things will happen. Next, you have the Nine of Diamonds. Great card for money. A lot of people have been getting nines this week. Uh, you only have one. I thought you had two, but actually only one. Um, and Nine of Diamonds is a card of, it's a great card, number one, for taking out things like loans, uh, insurance, paying your taxes, paying off debts. Uh, the reason is, is that this card says, if you, like, pay off a debt you're going to get the money right back it's kind of one of those cards where maybe not right back but within a short amount of time you'll the money will be kind of returned to you not directly from the debt source but from something else so it's a, always a good card to it's a card of financial responsibility it's a card that says you will be ending negative financial cycles and kind of stepping off onto new better financial cycles so i really like this card Next, you have the Seven of Clubs. Funny enough, this is a card that I always say represents escaping from prison. But it represents you taking actions from prisons that you have built for yourself. So things like, again, debts, um, you know, paying off loans, paying off student loans, and things like that that are holding you back. Uh, like I said, it's a card of action. So it says you'll be taking action to break out of these things. It can also be a card that says you might be in, feel stuck in a relationship or a job, and it might be time to leave those things. But again, it's a seven, so there are fears. You have like these fears that are holding you back from leaving these things. But this card says if you do it, there's a lot of success um, on the other side. And finally, you have one of my favorite cards, the Ten of Clubs. Great card of success and abundance coming to you. Even old school readers would consider this card an extremely good omen, extremely lucky. If you were to get it, they would kind of say that it would. It means that a lot of good luck is coming to you. Um, people always ask me if it's a gambling card. No, it's not a gambling card. It's not that type of luck, but it's like kind of like luck that you create for yourself. And so it's nice for that. Great card for socializing. Great card for networking. Like I said, 2017, major, major year for building groups, uh, talking to groups, networking, putting more people into your network. Um, and, and I shouldn't just say 2017. I think for like the next, you know, 60 years, maybe even longer. It's, it's, it's going to be all about kind of the people you surround yourself with. Um, it's going to be really important that we help kind of each other out. It's this weird mix. I mean, it, I was talking to somebody about this the other day that, you know, I think the next several years are kind of this weird mix of needing to be self-reliant, but so, you know, needing to really only count on yourself, but also needing to kind of build a team up around you and, and network with people who can help you at the same time. So it's like this needing to balance the two things. And I bet you if you look back at maybe your, uh, like past negative situations, I don't want to say negative because, you know, 
I believe that the challenges we go through are very important. But um, it, I think if you look at things that maybe you would view as negative, that you would see that um, having a group would have been very helpful. But really, you were the answer to the problem. So it's like I said, it's kind of this weird balance. But this is a very good card for that. Uh, so looks like a great week. Definitely. Is there anything else? Not really. This is a card of the teacher, by the way. So it'd be a great week for you to learn or even to teach this week as well. Uh, but it looks like a great week. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.